2013 macro FRQ number one here. Somehow I've skipped doing this one. The economy is operating at full employment, long run supply, short run aggregate demand, PL1, PL1Y1. So let's just draw it here. Long run aggregate supply, short run aggregate supply. We're at equilibrium. That's not very, that's not very good, but let's see if we can move it. There we go. Um, all right. Price level on the vertical, real GDP on the horizontal. This is YF. Um, I guess we could say PL1 and Y1. We are in equilibrium. Assume personal savings in the U.S. increase. Use a correctly labeled graph. The Lundwell Funds market showed the impact of an increase in real savings. So... Loanable funds is just a supply of loanable funds, demand for loanable funds, quantity of loanable funds, real interest rate. Your loanable funds graph should just be thought of as money in the banks. And that's exactly how I talk and teach it. It is just money in the banks. So if people are saving uh, more supply of more money going into the banks. So the supply of loanable funds would increase. This would drive down the real interest rate. Um, let's do IR1, IR2, quantity of loanable funds, one, uh, two. All right, based on the real interest rate changes identified in part B, will interest sensitive expenditures increase, decrease, or remain unchanged? Uh, strange language, but just know that when the real interest rate goes down, wouldn't we think that investment would go up? Wouldn't we expect more people to take out loans? Um, yeah, and I think we're talking about loans here. What will happen to the rate of economic growth? Uh, and we answer this the same way every time. We're going to say that economic growth is definitely going to increase. Let's explain it this way. Uh, yeah, we could just do it here. When the real interest rate goes down, we know that investment would go up. That means there'll be more capital formation. If there's more capital formation, there's more long-run economic growth. All right. Assume the real interest rate of the Eurozone increases relative to the rate of the United States. Draw a correctly the graph of the foreign exchange market for the Euro and show the impact of the change in the real interest rate in the Euro. So uh, let's just do it here. And so I'll show you how I do foreign exchange stuff. Here's the U.S. Here's the Euro countries. We know the real interest rate in the European countries has gone up. That means relatively the real interest rate in the U.S. has gone down. U.S. citizens now want to put their money into the Euro banks to get that high real interest rate. So they're going to dump their dollars into the Forex. This is going to make the supply of dollars inside the Forex increase. This is going to drive down the value of the U.S. dollar. At the same time that they're dumping their dollars into the Forex, they're buying Euros because the European banks only take Euros. So they're going to buy the euros, uh, and that means that the demand for the euro is going to increase, and this is going to drive up the value of the U.S. dollar, I mean the euro. So the value of the euro will increase. We saw that demand for the euro went up, and we explained it that, and we, we need to explain it that uh, as... Um, as real interest rates increase, um, U.S. citizens will put their dollars in the Forex to buy euros to get the higher real interest rate. That's kind of wordy. I'm sure there's a simpler way or a shorter way to say it. Um, the value of the euro relative to the U.S. dollar would increase. We already showed that over here. 
Assume the United States current account balance is zero based on the change in the value of the euro. Will the U.S. current account balance now be in surplus, deficit, or remain at zero? So just to make sure you understand that if a currency is depreciating, their exports have to be impre uh, exports have to be increasing. As the U.S. dollar gets weaker, it will be a better buy for Europeans, right? Their currency is stronger. They're going to want to buy our stuff. As our currency depreciates, our exports would go up. So we, our current account balance would be in a surplus because exports are now going to be greater than imports, at least relatively. So this would give us more of a surplus. Um, yeah, they said we were at zero. So now any exports increase would give us a surplus. All right, guys, be safe. Take care.